Hi guys, sorry it's been a while, I've just, ugh, it's crazy busy. So, this is the set that I'm currently wearing now after my Frozen set. We are now doing a Paris-themed, inspired Valentine set. So, we're starting off with that Dali Artistic Majestic and Beatles Gel White. I just want, like I did with my Frozen nails, I just want a little bit of I don't know, ombre from the bottom, just sort of blending it out. So I'm using my ombre brush from Beatles Gel Polish. I just, if I was to do it again, I would definitely do like a white base coat first. Like definitely would suggest that. But I just wanted like, I don't know, a bit of, a bit of pink, like amongst the white. <laughs> So this is the second coat, because this is going to be a decal nail. Um, I've been making, building up my decal collection to start selling, but just not quite ready yet. Um, so we're going to test out some of these on this set of nails. So there we go, pop that in the lamp. And we're ready to go with the decal. So we're going to have the little Eiffel Tower and the little lady with the umbrella. So this is one way you can use the decal, like get the decal wet. If you have like a little pot of water, you just want to pop it in there for about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20. Um, and then it's easiest, I find, to apply with a stamper. So you just slide it off and get rid of some of that water, excess water, and then you can stamp it on the nail. I don't know if you can see. See, it makes it so easy to apply. And look, we've got a little Eiffel Tower. So we're going to put a base coat on top of that just because we are adding more to this design. So I'm using that Urban Graffiti base coat there and then we are going to put that Parisian lady with her umbrella just I don't know I just thought it would look nice together I couldn't decide whether to use the pink dress or the yellow but in the end so this is the second where just pop the decal on your stamper and just dab it with your light brush dipped in water so it gets wet that way it's actually a lot simpler way i think and look it just slides away and there we go we can get ready for <laughs> although actually i'm dabbing the water off this and then, because obviously it's not a completely white background, the nail we're going on, we're just going to put a little bit of white gel polish. This is the first time I've done this this way, because these are clear decals, so you need light backgrounds. But we're just going to put a, a thin layer of white gel polish just on the back of it. I'm just going to like cure it with my handheld torch for just like 5-10 seconds, just... Just so it's still workable, but not fully cured. So then we're just going to stamp that in front of the Eiffel Tower. And look, I thought it looked really nice. I think it worked out quite well. And then we're going to do a little rose that you might have seen in my... Um, how to draw three different kind of roses on a nail. So we're going in with the lighter pink first and we're going to do two coats of that. And then I am going to go in with that beautiful, amazing, exclusive, shiny, super metallic red. Oh, it's just amazing. I just love it. Exclusive access, that's what it's called. <laughs> Sorry. So then we're going to go in with a really fine detail, a brush. And just, this is the technique where you just like 
do a little sort of swirl in the middle and then you sort of going round doing like C's and U's and then sort of going with the outline of the rows that you've drawn. Might be easier for you to just watch rather than me tell you. It's hard to see because the little recording box is in the way. <laughs> but that's definitely what I'm doing. So we're just going in, just with those little, like, you don't have to do big lines, but I think it's a really effective way of doing a rose. And pop that in the lamp. And then we are going to do the leaves now. So we're using Forest from Dali Artistic, which is a really nice forest green shade. <clears throat> Sorry. So this is going to be the base for the leaves because I'm going to go over this with uh, a glitter polish, obviously. <laughs> so then... We're just doing two little leaves, one at the top and one at the bottom. You don't need more than that, really. So you don't need two coats of this because we're going over with a glitter anyway. So I'm going to use Aqua from the gel bottle. Oh, what a pretty green. Honestly, right, that green and that shiny red. Um, I think my favourite polishes of all time. I, and I really like all polishes. So... And then I'm going to pop that in the lamp. And then, of course, <laughs> I just thought it looked a bit empty without dots. So we're going to do some dots. <laughs> I don't know why that screams Paris to me, but dots just make everything better, obviously. And then we're going to shiny top. All these nails are going to be shiny top coated just because I felt this set all needed to be shiny. Maybe I'll do an all matte set next. Who knows? But I think it looks really pretty, this one. I can't believe how well that decal turned out. I'm so pleased. <laughs> So the next set is going to be, uh, the next nail, sorry, is going to be with that pastel green. Oh, actually, that is also a favourite. Oh, I just love all polishes. So a pastel green from Dali Artistic. We're going to do two coats of that. And then this is going to be a nail like I did on my three Easy Roses set. So it's going to have three roses on this little nail. So we're going in with that lighter pink first. I'm using, it's a blue velvet polish. But honestly, they're really hard to, like, because I got loads of sets of those, like, different colour set of blue velvet polishes. But they've all numbered, like, 1 to 12. So I've realised I'm showing you the numbers and you'll actually never find it because unless you get that specific set of colours, they're all, like, so there's several with like, say, 12 or <laughs> like, oh, crazy. So we've done two coats of that. Sorry, I'm a bit rambly today. <sighs> it's been a long day. It's been a really long day. <laughs> so we're using that beautiful exclusive access shade. The nice shiny red. Just going around doing the little outlines. Little C's and U's. So we've got three of those on this nail. I do really like this set. Although a couple of nails uh, I don't like as much. <laughs> oh, but now so I'm stuck with these for three weeks now. Although I can change them if I want. That's the beauty of press-ons, isn't it? But... I like to keep them on for as long as they will stay on rather than trying to remove them too soon. But I don't know what set will be next. I mean, this will take me to almost Valentine's Day. It probably will take me to Valentine's Day, to be fair. So I don't know what's next. <laughs> 
So we're going in with that forest shade just for the leaves again. And then we're going to go over it with that aqua glitter green polish. Oh, it's so pretty. Sorry, I'm just looking at my nails now. <laughs> so I'll do two leaves on each of the little roses. I have got something that will help me decide what set next. I bought, you know, those nail roulette cards that you've been seeing everywhere. Well, oh, I can't say her name. Is it Selena Ryden? I bought her set of like cards to help me decide like what nails to do. So I'm super excited to use those. That will probably be in the next video. Although I do have some nails to make for um a customer and some extra little nails for my sister as well so i don't know those might be the next two videos so yeah we're going to go over with that aqua green glitter it is so pretty like i got this for christmas but yes i really wish i'd had it for christmas imagine grinchy nails with that green oh next year is gonna be amazing <laughs> i'm not wishing the year away by the way just you know i'm just thinking of nail terms <laughs> nail timelines and pop that in the lamp so <laughs> obviously gonna put dots on there as well oh. Oh. If you've watched all my videos, you know I like dots, so you're just going to have to put up with the dots, I'm afraid. <laughs> and shiny top coat for that one. <laughs> this next nail, <sighs> absolute disaster. And it's not even the nail I end up, like, well, I do end up wearing it, but last night when I got home from work, I was like, I'm sick of looking at it, I've got to, I've got to change it. Like, so I changed it while I was on. Well, anyway, this one, very happy with that one, very pleased. So we're starting off with a white because I'm going to try and use these holographic nail foils I've got. Or what I thought were nail foils. <laughs> oh, you will see. What a disaster. So we're just doing one coat. And then we're going to use my Macart nail art, um, nail foil glue. It's really good. It's really good for any other foil that I've used. <laughs> but I don't think this is actually foil. It does say foil on the listing because I went back and looked. But I think <laughs> you're actually supposed to... <sighs> I think you're supposed to cut like little bits out and stick it on the nail. If you know what I mean. Because look, absolutely nothing. Nothing definitely not a nail foil i'm like i keep trying I'm like did i do it on the wrong side who knows <laughs> like what is this i'm not <sighs> but whatever so i decide to go with a pink galaxy nail foil that's definitely a nail foil i know it's a nail foil <laughs> instead and i'm gonna do like a marble sort of white marble effect on it but I end up really not liking it so but I mean you might like it <laughs> it just really annoyed me because I'd taken a lot of the stickiness off so then this foil was hard to apply <sighs> never mind we live and we learn don't we but I'm making the mistakes so you don't have to make the mistakes so if you see holographic nail foil on amazon it's not nail foil it's just like that is it called angel paper no idea but you're just supposed to cut it <laughs> cut it and stick it <laughs> so we're going to put a base coat on top of this so that we can do the little marble white marble effect that i want to do i think in the end because i was rushing it as well because I'd already taken way too long, like just, uh, I was just distracted. So I just, I should have done it in thinner lines and worked out 
where I wanted the marble. So it kind of just looked like, oh, I don't know. I thought it looked okay. <laughs> but just not ideal. Not ideal at all. I end up going back to put decals on top of this as well because I think, no, I can't deal with this. <laughs> uh, but I still changed it again. But never mind. Now it's got that holograph paper, like, paper on. But Yeah, so I go over with this pink glitz thinking that, well, this might make it look nice. <laughs> However, I think we can all agree it looks like crap. <laughs> so uh, never mind I mean you might like it if you like it great I really do not like it <laughs> this polish though very nice pink glitters always fluff why is it always fluff <laughs> So we're going to shiny top coat this, obviously. So yeah, we do come back to that nail in a little bit, but never mind. Let's just forget about that nail. We just forget about it. It looks okay, but... <laughs> so this nail, we are going to use that majestic shade from Dali Artistic. Um, sort of like a pinky gold. Like, I wouldn't say rose gold. I think it's more pinky gold. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to do two coats of that. And then we're going to use white. So we're going to do some stripes. So just stripes are so much easier if you just let the brush go where it wants to go. If you know what I mean. Rather than trying to do a really straight line yourself. Because it just, you know, you just pull it down and it goes where it wants to go. And they, I think they look like quite good lines. So we're going to do three striped lines down the bottom, uh, down to the bottom of this. And then we are going to use some more decals. So I've got this little Paris that I'm going to use now. So I find this is definitely the best way to do decals. Always best to stick it on your stamper and wet it like that. Because then, oh, so much less mess and less water, really. I think they work better. Although, is this the one that... No. I do go over this with... Um, white gel paint but I didn't think you needed to see that again well, look at that I'm really quite pleased with that one actually to be fair so shiny top coat that one and that one's that done oh, I do like that one I'm not sure why I wanted to go with a Paris theme I'm not going to Paris I just thought Paris, City of Love, Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, so this is going back to that stupid nail. So we're going to use those decals. I've buffed, I've buffed that surface so that it's got something to attach to. But, um, yeah, this decal doesn't even work how I wanted it to work either because it dried too much. No, it wouldn't come off the stamper. <sighs> See, this nail was just... I should have just started again. Done a whole new design. But... Uh, whatever. <laughs> so we're going over with the gel polish. I'm going to cure that. A little flash cure. Not a proper cure. So just with my little handheld LED. And then... <laughs> I end up having to pick it off with the tweezers, but oh, this snail just didn't want to work for me. Oh, look, no, still on there. Oh, no, still on there. <laughs> Stop. 
damn it. <sighs> Still on there. Christy, just take them off. They're completely like, ugh, fluff that one. So we're just going to place it. <laughs> uh, I'm so done with this nail. So done. Never mind. There we go. <laughs> so then we've topped that again. So we've got one nail to go for this hand. So obviously we're going to use that exclusive access shade because I cannot have a Valentine set on my nail and not have a full nail with at least that. I mean, to be fair, I would have been happy... Even though I like a lot of detail, I would have been happy to just have a set of those. <sighs> They're just killer, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And what we're going to do is we're going to do stars. <laughs> or dots. It's a little starburst star to start off with. So just pull that down. So you go and Pull it out from the centre up and down and both sides so it's a nice starburst star. And then we're just going to do some dots. <laughs> Obviously. And that, with the shiny top coat, is the first hand done. So if you want to leave me here, I know I'm a bit crackers today, that's fine. I will forgive you. <laughs> But if you don't, stick around. So this is going to be the same as the other one, really. Um, but we're going to use that lady with the yellow dress this time. <laughs> so we're going to do... Uh, see, I still should have done a base coat. Oh, never mind. So we're going to ombre that again. I say ombre, but it's not really. I just wanted <laughs> just white pink at the bottom, but I wanted it to blend in to some white, if you know what I mean. So, doing two coats of that. Do I show you that? Yes, I know. <laughs> I do show you. I wish, I don't know. Just wish I'd done it a little bit different. Never mind. I keep saying never mind, but... Ugh. Yeah, see, I just wanted, like, a touch of pink, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. So, we're going to do the little Eiffel Tower again. I was so pleased with that. I drew that as well, by the way. Just, you know, <laughs> if you wanted to know. So it just slides away, get rid of the excess water. Beep beep. <laughs> well then stamp away. Line it up. Oh, I am actually really pleased with these nails. See that little lady is actually part of my digital sticker set from November, like October, November time, my cosy autumn days set. So she's like had two uses really. <laughs> so, yep, we're going with a base coat so that we can stick her on because you can't stick her on top of the decal because she'll never stick. She's got to have a tacky layer to go on. So. Once again, we're going to put white polish on her so that she shows up. I think it probably would have been okay maybe without because it's such a light pink, but I didn't want to risk it because then you can't really do much once you've stuck it down. So might as well be prepared. I am really pleased with how this turned out, to be fair. Both thumbnails, I am very pleased with. So I give it a little flash cure. And stamp away. Oh, 
I just think it looks really good. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, is that big headed? I'm sorry. So yeah, obviously going um oh no, I'm doing hearts before I do dots. <laughs> So instead of doing a flower on this one, because I didn't want them to be exactly the same, because obviously they're different coloured dresses, so I thought I'd do little different designs to the side of the Eiffel Tower. So we're having three shiny red metallic hearts for Valentine's Day. Don't know if we're going to do anything for Valentine's Day. Are you going to do anything for Valentine's Day? Let me know in the comments if you are. Like, I never know whether people really celebrate anymore. <sighs> but anyway. So three little different size hearts going on there. And then <laughs> dots. White dots again. I just, I don't know. I struggle with backgrounds because I don't like them to be too completely plain. So yeah. There we go. We're going to shiny top coat that. I feel like I'm proper crazy today. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I mean, maybe most of you just watch this on, like, mute anyway. So you don't listen to my rambling. <laughs> so second nail. It is going to be pastel green, obviously. I'm definitely going to have to get this shade again because oh, I just love it. It's like a Tiffany's, like, bluey green. So this is going to be a stripey nail. And then we are going to use another decal. I was trying to save a lot of time. <laughs> it didn't really because... To be fair, I was watching TV and then I was, oh, I was trying to do everything. So it took me a long time to do this set. <laughs> so once again, let the brush go where it wants to go. Like, yeah, fill it in after. But initially, just let it flow where it wants to go. So we're using that little love decal now. These will be available to buy soon. If you want decals, then please come to my shop. But it's not there yet. <laughs> so don't go yet. Oh my God, just shut up, Christy. So we're going over that with white gel polish. Like gel, yep, yeah, gel polish. So it shows up. And then we're going to shiny top coat of that. And that's that one. So a really quick one there. And I really like that one. I love that one and the Paris one. So next nail, we are starting with a white. This is going to be a marble alcohol ink marble nail. So, really easy, really quick. I must say, I do love the alcohol inks for ease. So, you've got to wipe away that inhibition layer on the tacky layer. And I'm using the metallic ones again. I think that was purple, but it's actually more pink to me. Um, I don't know what you would think, but it looks pink to me, doesn't it? I do a bit, I think I put a bit too much on because I would like, I would have liked a bit more white on show, but never mind. We're going to use this silver gel paint to um, sort of do the, the glitter bits. So we're going to mix that a little bit first. So he's supposed to do it in light like figures of eight. I'm not sure why, don't know don't know <laughs> so I've not used that one before but it's very pretty so we're just we're just sort of following the lines where what where the ink has left a line if you know what I mean like a darker line 
It's just sort of like the veins of the marble. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm probably making no sense. This video is going to be a lot of pants. <laughs> so, shiny top coat in that. And then that one is done as well. Then we've got only got two nails to go. And they are also very simple. So, it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> if you are willing to stick around. So, we're using the prettiest gel paint colour. It's like shade 20. I can't remember what it was called. But shade 20 gel paint from Dali Artistic. It's like this really lovely deep pinky red. I think I needed a different brush though. Because it wasn't going on very well. I'm not going to lie. It was annoying me. It is a beautiful colour. And it is beautiful now looking at the nail. But. Make sure you've got the right tools because I was faffing with this so much. You can see it just looks a little bit like... Bleh. Like it doesn't look smooth. But it does now. Now it's, now it's done. <laughs> I think I ended up with three coats of that maybe. And then I'm using this reflect top coat. So... I didn't actually know because it didn't say on the side of the bottle. It said go to the website for instructions. Like on whether this was just the final top coat or whether you needed a top coat after it. So, And I didn't have time to go look at the website. So I ended up using a top coat on top of this as well. But I'm not sure. <laughs> look into your reflect top coats. It's a very pretty nail to me though. But yes, I would have... <sighs> Would have liked a simpler going on process, but never mind. So the last little nail is going to be, I think it's called Ashby, that shade. Really pretty pink, shifty colour. And like the other little fingernail, we're just going to do a star burst and some dots for some stars. Because I have said before that sometimes because I want to do so much on my nails, like <laughs> I like to have everything in one set, but then it just looks like a jumble of nails. Whereas this set I feel is quite <sighs> symmetrical. <laughs> just like, so there's two nails with stars, there's... Two nails with stripes and decals and there's like oh, the two thumbnails that are sort of like identical but not. So I feel like I, I don't know, <laughs> I matched it quite well. You might not agree but uh, I'm wearing them now anyway so they're very nice. But yes I did change that. Awful, awful decal now. <laughs> so that is the last nail. Thanks for sticking around if you did. <laughs> like, I really appreciate it. If you like them, please give this video a like and consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything and you can totally change your mind later, but I would really like it if you didn't. So... Yeah, so here are all of the nails. So I really do love that little Eiffel Tower. But thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I just thought I'd sh extra show you I've got them on. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.